every word of it. Mm. Hello, Kyla. I saw that. Evening. <sighs> Rebrooding. Something like that. Oh, fuck, I left my right, Kyla has Kyla has a right to hear this as well. <laughs> Both of you do. <sighs> to put it simply, I didn't stay quiet. Right there in the town centre. After he killed all of them, I Well, I raised my voice against him for the first time in my life. Shouted at the top of my lungs. I was irate. I was hurt. I told him exactly what I thought. Took the took the pommel of his sword and split my lip to shut me up. I did not speak a word the entire time. Not when he killed them. Not when he dragged me home. Not until he'd thrown me into my chamber and slammed the door. Told me uh, I better learn my place. And a few other things I shan't get into. <clears throat> but I knew one thing, and my anger did not abate. I knew where those prisoners had been brought from. They'd been brought to town as a spectacle from a nearby fort. And I knew that there'd be more of them. So after a few hours had passed and I believed my father to be asleep, I opened the shutters of my window, climbed down, and I fled into the woods. I went straight for that fort in the middle of the night. When I arrived, I lied to the guard. I told them that I was there on father's behalf. I used his name. Mm. Said that I was there to inspect and that they had best make my my trip quick and efficient. They knew who I was at the very least, so they listened. Without question. Loyalty. At its finest. Didn't take me long to find the cells where the rest of the elves were being kept. That place was used as a torture facility. There were tools there for such purposes. And they had several barrels of this, uh, I believe it was an alchemical powder, which was flammable. They would throw it on people and throw a match. Mm. People in those cells were emaciated and burned. So, I grabbed the key. When the guns went in the room, I opened the cell. Or even had a chance to trade more than a few words of confusion. One of the guards came back into the room, and thinking that I had... Or rather, thinking that they had managed to somehow break free, and that I, their VIP, was in danger, drew his blade and rushed toward them. I plunged my sword through his chest. I killed him. The man who was only doing his job. Killed him dead. The worst part of it all is that I... You'd 
think I would have felt frightened. But I felt alive. As if everything in my life had led up to that moment. You have to understand the kind of training you receive from an inquisitor is brutal, efficient. You're trained to kill mercilessly. And I'm ashamed of that. I fled through the halls with those elves, and as more guards came, one by one, I removed them from our path. I made a break for the door. There were barrels of that powder near the front. They shouldn't. I knocked them down, shattering them into the hall. And then I barred the front door closed. Locked them in. And I set it all ablaze. and the remaining only. None of them made it out. Not a single one. For all the good it did in the end, my father found us in the woods. He wasn't asleep. His retinue showed up, rounded up the elves, and... Yes. Still, he did not speak a word to me. He threw me in my own cell. And at that point, everything became a haze. All I know is that in the time I was down there, my father was accused of treason, for siring a traitor to the end. He was accused of plotting and conspiring. And so, to prove his loyalty, he was going to be the one to take my head. The night before it was to happen, my mother showed up under my cell door. Almost a reflection of my cell days past. She opened the cell, snuck me out of the city. Gave me this sword, her loot, and she told me to run as far as I could. Never to stop, find a new home. She did not say it, but I know she did not wish to ever see me again. Because she was an Imperial. She was loyal. But she's the one who taught me the arts. She's the one who taught me to appreciate what is around me. After that, it was months of running before I collapsed outside the tavern here. Nicholas took me in. I took on the name Tarek to protect myself. And I hoped they would never find me. Because I wanted to escape judgment. Certainly does a lot of explaining. But I 
I fail to see at this point why anyone outside of the Empire would feel the need to judge you of what you did. Because I lied to everyone. Who I was, what I'd done. I took advantage of all of your kindness. You, Kyla, Kat, Nicholas, the Captain. I took advantage of the fact that you all had faith in me. I would like to, to disagree with that. I. You did not take advantage because you did not abuse it. That trust, that information, you were looking out for yourself as any rational person would. Somebody in your position surely couldn't run around and spewing their name, titles, and all the like. Just covering your own tracks. Through being honest with yourself and true to yourself and protecting yourself, but you were never being truly dishonest to everyone else for that matter. And they hid a few things for your own safety, but. Never mistreated or misguided anyone with that sort of misinformation. I Hello. Put you at risk, Cade. Were you at all able to see where Baylor went? Unfortunately, not. He said he was moving. Uh, no, I, I haven't seen where he is. But if I ever find him, I'll direct him towards you. Well, he'd be sure to come back to me anyways. Of Once course. his jacket sewn up again. Very well. I'll send him your way. Thank you. <sighs> hmm. Aren't you know where the train is? Yeah, um... And the digging. And the digging. He's been doing that an awful lot, hasn't he? In the digging. <laughs> well. <sighs> the part that scares me the most is Cade. Is that when I think back on it, there is a pain in my chest. But I cannot be certain if it is remorse for what I've done or regret for failing. I'm afraid that my father's training has made me that feeling horrifies me. it feels good. The slaughter? Being stronger than someone else. Besting them. Hmm. Question. By your opinion, what exactly is it about being stronger than another that feels good? Or in this case, you stood there and you were killing these men, loyal men, as you put it, one at a time. And you felt good in that moment. Now, if this were simply wandering around and mindlessly murdering individuals without a second thought or purpose. That would be one thing that would be mildly concerning. But it wasn't. Hello, that is mine. I did leave that down there. Appreciate it. No problem. Well, I'll be with you shortly. Hopefully we can all have a nice drink at the tavern tonight. Enough. I'll see you all there then. We got it. Uh, 
Anyway. It justified everything. It did justify Every it. day of my life. All the Max. time I spent. I did have an extra question. Uh, yes. <laughs> but I was told I want to train more to be able to defend others. I was wondering if any of you were more proficient with daggers. Daggers, daggers. Uh, I'm Excuse not sure I'm the one to ask about that. Uh, yes. Borrow you for a second. Um, is it something that I can wait? I didn't even hear what he said. What he said. Is it something that can okay. wait? We will wait. Uh, right, appreciate oh, it. Geez. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you much with the dagger training. Um. Sorry. Oh, there's your man. Just, uh. Just Anyone want to sample the loosest woman in Lenford? I am shirtless. But... And beautiful! She's shirtless. And... I'm shirtless and beautiful. Yes. You can see He's his the one that's shirt. He's the one that's shirtless, yes. Um, be, we'll be with you both shortly. We were, we were wrap, wrapping up a conversation. Yes. Uh, right. Kyla, mm. consider joining on the mission, will you? Um, I can't. Apparently the list is full. You can't. Fuck. We don't want to ask well, me. I am flattered, though. Thank you, Bailey. I want someone who can see in the... Oh, Knock. so you just want to use me? Never mind. So sorry. Not you this time. Perhaps next time, <laughs> big boy. I don't want you cutting randomly in the dark and striking things. Tell you what. You can't see. Let's migrate over here. That was him. Yes. I don't know if they wanted me or not. It was, um... It justified it, yes. But, you know... It's up to you if you wish to misjudge my, uh... Or not misjudge, uh... Tyler, get down from a... there, you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, why don't we talk over here? we're here to have a private conversation. Let's talk over here. Hope you're doing well, friend. Sorry, sorry. Hello. Kyler, mm. wanted me to remind you, have you signed up for the mission for tomorrow? He did ask me, I had to say no. I believe the list is full. Like to? Uh, I cannot. Damn it. Alright then, it was worth a shot. Yes, there's going to be. Oh, Apologies. Well, it is your decision, unless if Baylor tries to force you into it. Well, I thought he wanted me, but he just wants my eyes. It's really, really sad. I actually felt wanted for once. Early in the morning, if I am able. I mean, I well, I could probably friend. say that we needed you within our group in general because you'd be a very fine, value, valuable asset to, to our group. Thank Not you, just sir. For your eyesight, my friend. I'd like to go on a mission with you, actually, because every mission that I've been on, we've lacked a medical person, and it really fucking sucked. But I have to miss well, we'll this one. A quest tomorrow if you're still willing. My brain has to be elsewhere. But of course, it is your decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do not worry too much about it and don't fall off the rock wall, please. <laughs> it's kind of my right. thing, Soma. I really like the little dangers. <laughs> Kind of my thing. Are drows the nimble? Most of them are. Drow be nimble. I've heard they're very nimble. They are quick. nocturnal. 
in the dark, especially. That's not all true, but you're close. Well, I've heard information here and there, Nick Pickett's about you, about you and the Drow. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm quite interested in your race. Well, you've cut me open plenty of times. You've seen more of me than most people have, Soma. <laughs> the inside is what I really don't care about. However, the life to save you is what I care about the most. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me alive. <laughs> not allowed to leave this mortal You're coil just yet. You're not the only one yet. to say that. Not yet. <laughs> keeping me here. Selfish. All right. I'm going to head back in the infirmary with Millie. Of course. You be yourself and do not fall off the rock wall, please. Enjoy your night, Soma. To you, I'll fall back into the graveyard. I mean, at least he's already where he needs to be buried and save some work. Exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I hope you don't fall. <laughs> Dompe, dig me a grave. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. It's only natural. You felt good because you were good at what you were doing. And what you were doing was protecting others. <coughs> I fear if you dwell too hard on things like this, the morality of it all, that would tear you apart far more than... showing a bit of ignorance, I guess you could say. Taking a life at the end of the day is taking a life, but... In this dark world and times that we live in, more seldom than not, you're going to have to pick and choose which lives you decide to see taken and not. Either that, or you simply become a pawn in the world. Someone to be used, pushed around by everyone else, until eventually one day you yourself are killed. Speaking signs. Yes. But. He's a lot better than with words than I am, Tarek. Am I? I tried to give him a pep talk this morning, and it was basically just. Everyone's done something fucked up that doesn't define them. You're a lot better with. Words that's I... true too a, a, a very tldr version of it no doubt i know those letters now you're not a bad person and you're proud of your strength and when you're able to demonstrate it because you are proud in what you are doing and in this case it was getting rid of the enemy or what you deemed to be the enemy be it monsters creatures Swamp, bogs, whatever those were, not alligators. <laughs> or loyal men who are fighting for a cause that you deem to be vile. You picked a side. And because those men did not live, means that some other innocents get to live for that much longer. People you care Don't about... That's how I see it. People you care about know you're a good so person, Tarek. Again. He knows. <sighs> I talked to her before. Sorry to interrupt again, but you are needed at the tavern. Apparently a messenger yeah. from Lord Gavis is requiring that we elect somebody to be quote-unquote head of our little village essentially a liaison from the keep to us like a like a yeoman exactly mm. suppose uh, it's time he for me to step like up <laughs> not me definitely not me <laughs> no 
I, I'd rather stay as... We need to elect them. Either way, if we're voting it, then we should all be there, no? Right. Do you imagine if Baylor was in charge? Yes, that would be horrible. Let's nice. not do that. We should not. Let's not do that. And we'll be right there. there. <laughs> um. It'll be probably another minute. They'll be right there. I'll we'll be sure to expedite it. You were saying. I talked to her earlier about a few things. Just to kind of help her navigate through things. She knows you're a good person. She's just trying to figure it out. Don't worry so much, okay? I mean, if we're being honest, having killed someone this day and age, I guess it's not uncommon. Oh. Goodness, the only reason I ever got this sword to begin with was to ward off bandits and protect myself on the road. Um, I thought it was, was just a really big steak knife. And... When I was younger and a bit more naive, I bought it in the hopes it would ward them off, not never to actually have to use it. Never planned on killing a man, but... When it came down to it on the road, I had a choice to fight or fly. And typically, I'd prefer the flight option, but that was no longer available Ooh. to me. I had to choose fight. We're about to get yelled at for not being in the tavern. Right. Uh, we, we should make our way over. Tavern. Come on. We're going to decide who is the young man for the village. Anything for you. It's pretty obvious who we're all going to use, let's be honest. He's been here for a long time. He knows Who? people better than anyone. Me! I'll be elected. The leader of the no, village. <clears throat> Nicholas, you dumb twat. Oh. You wanted me for the mission. He's the most capable person here. What? You wanted me for the mission. That means people want me. The people! <laughs> we must give the people what they want. Yes, and they want Nicholas to be the young man. Well, That's we should give them the option. There is no need for a vote. <laughs> oh, so no one's gonna vote for a Give them the You're option. In human okay, you have me sold. <laughs> no, you don't. That's bullshit. Oof. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I doubt anybody here is really qualified. Get shirt on, lad. You're gonna catch a cold. Yeah, well, I have to stuff my shirt inside arm, okay? Okay, that's a good place to stuff it. I would like a drink, please. But also, I know I'm going to like you to eat them too much. Right. It's like the choice, do you want wisdom uh, or uh, wisdom or uh, uh, strength? Uh, strength. Uh, strength. Uh, strength. Uh, strength. Uh, you don't know what the vote's for? Thank you. Well, no, no, that's it's a free option. option. Yes, it's for, um, yeah, electing yeah, someone. Why don't you, <laughs> you could do something in rings where we're trying to think of ideas of so who would be a perfect fit. There's two oh. people that come to mind, but it's, you know, going to be... Obvious. Yes, can I get a bottle? Bottle? Okay, it's, so you want the wine now? Uh, whatever, whatever we can get that I can carry back over there. Okay, it's 15 copper for that if you want it. <laughs> Who do I give it to? Which one of you me. four? So me. Inside. Me. No. No, 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 no. Get out so of here, you're going to be voting for me, right? Oh no! Right over there. 
<laughs> sure, because I don't think you win. That's why we are here to make peace, because it seemed like that's the only thing that we could really do. So you guys are going to vote for me, right? Of course, Kyla. <laughs> Alright, now we're cooking. Look, I, I'm illiterate. <laughs> I'm horrible at drawing, I'm a drow, I barely wear a shirt, I always get beaten up all the time. What more do you need? I have my finger on the pulse of this village. I can see it, yes. Alright. Ah, let's get my lungs out. How about I vote for you know who and you vote for? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. It's not to do for me. Okay. And we'll just see. Wait, now I feel left out. Well, but not, not necessarily like. Uh, let's do that, but also you bring that. <laughs> bring it to the floor. Yeah, okay. Yes. So we will, we will, we will bring that forth. Yes. Wait, I like what? that. I feel left out. What's happening? Women talking. Women. Yep. That's what they got though. Fine, I'll just go over here by myself and listen to Trump. I feel a little better. Yeah. Hey, good luck on that. Don't. Hi, is everyone here? Do we have uh, a uh, 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 And that man also gets This man here claims he shot down the, s the sun. Oh, yeah. We saw him shoot the sun down. Hey, hey. Thank you. Right. As we were told earlier, we have the opportunity to elect a person of power as a spokesperson for the people of Levard. The people outside of the city, the people, I mean, the people outside of the, the castle walls, essentially. Outside of the court. Or whatnot. And they are essentially, I said, it was the word in the, in liaison? Was it? Liaison. Yeah, liaison, yeah. yeah. For basically uh, the people. <sighs> now, Faye and I have our decisions of who we want to bring forth as potential people to uh, be voted upon. I would like to bring forth Vela as an option for the liaison. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> and Faye would like would to like bring forth. Like on... yes. 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 Indeed. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your decision. Does everyone get the vote in this? We are allowed to I nominate them, but those are our two nominations. We decided to separate off that. No, let you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, but I wanted to vote for this guy. This guy right here. Doesn't want to. I don't know. Probably not going to go through. They won't let me vote. They won't let me go up there, probably. <laughs> Get up on the Go up there, so yes. <laughs> yes. I nominate Soma. I okay. Soma, you've been nominated. Soma, get up on the podium. You've been nominated. Quiet, listen. Boys, let's get out of here. So far, we got Baylor, Somas, Arn. Jack was also called. Right? Mirandel. Kyla. Hmm. Okay. I would agree with that, yes, that's a great choice. 
Mirandel's a good team. Mirandel's okay. a good team. Oh. You already work closely with them, so you're going to liaison. Yes, I do. Okay, so, so we got one, two, three. Hmm. The six. 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 So that's a pretty good <laughs> amount. <laughs> yes, I believe that's a good amount. Don't put Dompe out there. All right. Um, with these six people, we will have a town. <laughs> will be elected as the liaison for the people of Ledford. Fuck off. That includes all of us down here. And, um, <clears throat> well, I don't know. If you want, do you want all get to vote as well? You can either vote for yourselves or for someone else. I vote myself. Oh, thank you. Your one vote counteracting the other? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, you can. If he does not yeah. want to be. Oh, come on, let's not pull this bullshit. I'm already assistant to the captain. I don't want more responsibility. All right. Take your pot so take that one. leaves five. What? I'll Are take you... a spot if he doesn't want it. <laughs> Were you nominated? No. Oh, I can't really oh, say this. Yeah. Nicholas is too old <laughs> and too sick to even be considered a liaison. Hey, look, we're not voting in our own. Can't expect us all to all the way up to the castle every single day. Voting is the same. I want one place. Yeah, it's your choice to step down. You've just been nominated, but you can step down if you want. You've been nominated, but you are. It is up to you if you want to actually accept the nomination. Thanks for the compliment, though. I will only do it if the town wants it. <laughs> if the town so wants me to be, then fine. But personally, I don't think it's a good idea. Hard has to be in it. In that case, we have four here that are to be voted upon. Soma, Arn, Mirandol, and Jack. The rest of the townspeople, as well as the people on the podium if you wish, uh, can vote for someone on this state. Um, I believe the best way would probably be a show of hands. Uh, should probably I cannot think of another way. Nominate and explain why they would be a good liaison. What do you say? I said you should probably have those that you've nominated explain why they would be a good liaison. Mm. Yes. Thank you. I don't know why I'm leading this. I just happen to be the one who's standing on the stage. Um, it's good leadership skills. What about the grave digger? Um, go ahead and, uh, yes, like Arn said, explain why you would be a good liaison. No. Burn say no. Start with you. Ladies first. You're not up there anymore, Bela. Well, first, I didn't think that I would get nominated, but second, if I were to be this... <laughs> we've all had the darkest times here in Ledford. <clears throat> and throughout the cold-hearted days that we all had here, it's about time that someone would have a voice to be able to bring it back up somehow, some way. So that we can keep on walking forward, not having to deal with our own damn pasts. We survived countless waves of shroom monstrosities. We've survived thieves. We can continue further and be stronger than this. If I were to be a your, if I were to be this so-called role that you would give me. I'd make sure that everyone would have to keep their heads up. As I heal each and every one. Well, no. Thank you, Summer. These were very nice. Um, yes, Jack, very nice. <laughs> if you would like to explain? Why you think you'd be a good leader? Outside of Mirandel here, who else has has experience with nobles. Do you, Arn? Do you, Soma? No. He said outside of Mirandel. He, he said outside of Mirandel. Oh. Hello, he said outside of Mirandel. <laughs> Clean your ears. 
I used pale. to be in a building. I think he said outside of the I had that show too long ago. What? I used to interact with these people on a daily basis. I used to go to their parties, their events, their holdings. I used to... Jack, I... If this is something that truly must happen and truly will, somebody with experience of how nobility works and how they interact with each other should be chosen. And at this point, I see that as either me or Mirandel. Hmm. Mirandel has age on me. That is all I can account for. As far as I see it, it is either, it's either the two of us and no one else. I used to deal with these matters every day until I had it stripped. I cannot say I will bring good to Ledford and its people. But I can at least promise I can speak its truth. What the nobles want us to happen and what we want to happen. I don't know what else I could say to convince any of you, but I promise I can at least keep my mind open to both sides and to keep it all clean mm. and professional. These people are only looking out for themselves, and they need people who can look, and, they, and you all need somebody who can look out for you. And if that happens to be me, then so be it. I will bite my tongue and suck in my pride when it matters. Um, right. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for the nomination. Um, second of all, uh, yes, I work closely with the nobility. I work with Lord Gavis regularly. <laughs> I have dealt with his advisor as well. I also think it's quite important that someone with understandings of how to interact with nobility, interact with the Lord. To that end, um, this is not exactly a secret, but mm. for those who do not know, I am of nobility of House Silrele of Ejmethalos. Oh. That said, I do not call that place my home. I would call Ledford my home. And I see all of you as my people. If I can be of any use to you, then that is all I have to say. Hmm. Um, also, I'd like to ask a question to both of you. I, I know that Mirandell is very versed and eloquent with writing, and that plays a big part with nobles. Hmm. Can you do that as well, Jack? Yes. I can read. I can write. Well, my question is, this is a liaison for the people, is it not? We're not looking necessarily for a noble. We're looking for someone who represents the people. Is that not true? That's just mm. my piece. My opinion. Well, my piece on Have you ever known see? anyone to say a bad word about Jack? Anyone? Yeah. Uh, before we go on discussing between each other, how about the, the rest of the uh, nominees... Explain the uh, the case, yes. whatever it may be. This particular job would be a curse. Anybody who was elected Yarmin would have a burden on their shoulders that they would have absolutely no control over. You will be used as a foreman by the nobility. You will have every wrong placed on your shoulder. Anything that they do that results in losses here in the village will be upon your head. And whoever it is that serves under you, either advising you or trying to help you, will by proxy be just as guilty as you. And should you fail to give the nobility what it is that they want, and they will probably go as far enough as to take your life or someone important to you to make you fall in line. I have no wish 
to live that kind of life. I do not have the metal to do it. I work in a forge. That's what I know. That's what I love. I do not have the time to try and learn politics or to try and walk my way through a diplomatic minefield. If I have to say anything, we already have someone who does that at the moment. The scribe does plenty of work here and finds himself mm. navigating these horrors on a daily basis. Mm. More than once, he has spoken up in our defense to an advisor that sends chills down our spine. He was also sent down into the caves a second time without anybody there to back him up other than those who considered him expendable. Every single day, he has been in the lion's den. So I'm telling you now, I refuse any kind of nomination. Because I would be no good for it. But if I could send a vote to somebody, it would be Mirandel. That's all I have to say about that. And God Thank help you. whoever gets chosen. If, uh... Well said. Yes. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. Uh, if I could, um step on towards the uh, board for a moment and uh, say a quick something. You, but sure. talk. Just talk. No, 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 it's, 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 it's not a nominee. Just okay, talk. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll just talk. I don't, I don't have to step up or anything. It's definitely many, many good decisions here, many to choose from. Uh, I personally would have to narrow it down between these two, but at the end of the day, I do believe, as for myself, the best vote would be none other than Mirandol himself. He does already work hand in hand with the Lord and his advisor, and a lot of these duties that uh, Arn so graciously and pessimistically pointed out to us all, he already has some of that weight on his shoulder and has for quite some time. He does have the experience. He is someone who has worked with the people, walked amongst us, and gone down and fight with us time and time again. And Jack, I understand, has done the same. But, I mean, there's always room for, say, a vice liaison course, should it come down to it. The point is, my vote would go to dear Mirandol here. This is something that he, for some time here at Ledford, has already demonstrated he's capable of doing. Handling the Lord and such. And he's someone who's willing to work not just between other nobles and the Lord, but with the people as well. Plenty of times... He has worked hand in and hand with us, and despite, me. and yes, fight alongside us, and despite all the jokes that circulate around, I do not see our dear scribe as a man to burn bridges. Like, the, <laughs> well, just, uh, the, the metaphorical <laughs> ones, no, not, not literal. You, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm missing an inside joke. My vote goes to Mirandol. I, I, I guess I am too. Thank you for your long-winded vote. Um, Let me ask so, you, Mirandol. Hmm. Uh, really shall we? Hear you at all, but have a show of hands yeah, before we have anyone else uh, everybody has been like telling you all explain the vote. yeah what about you let's do that are you willing to bear that weight yeah because as Arn said you fail and all those I in favor of voting the next yeah, liaison of the village we need to I'm kill Marcus off he's asking a question I'm just being a boisterous man he's standing up all in favor yeah. of Jack oh, they didn't let me do that fuck shit the nominee <laughs> For Yarriman of the village of Ledford and the castle of Ledford. Show a raise of hands. For who? I didn't hear you. For Jack. For yeah, Jack. Very well. Well. For Jack. <laughs> right. Those in favor of the Don't worry song. about it. God knows he keeps us safe from death's door. Raise a hand. I'm doing yoga. Don't worry about it. I don't know what's wrong. Very well. You just voted me. Those in favor of Scribe Mirandel for taking the position of liaison of the Castle Ledford. Raise your hand. I didn't know I could vote twice. And then oh, it would be so. So, so when did Your you know the liaison of Castle Ledford. There's more hands up than all the other votes. I can count. 
Anyway. Here, here. 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 Here, the Aizon sounds cooler, right? Yes, yes. Where, where, where? Aizon's not incorrect, but it's pipe weed in your face. What are you smoking? It is really terrible pipe weed. I was saying fucking flinch as you breathe it like this way. Mmm. Breathe. I'll be uh, heading to bed, I think. Good night, everyone. I think, I think I will do my best to my ability to make sure that your voices are heard. Catch things up with time. Sarah? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. somebody to be an assistant to this whole yeoman thing don't let it be me i don't want you involved in kyler in any of this i would not dream to put kyler as my second for this this is not just the scribery doesn't you no offense but you don't even know how to read or write quite yet this is bullshit no one wants me as the fucking speaky man for the Hey, I suppose we have another one. Well, the last thing we did. Not gonna sound like it. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Getting my cup. Outside of those in the castle, we were the only two. Hi. Another one, please. Look at that, no one fucking voted for me. No one wanted me out there. It's bullshit. <laughs> they both just shrugged at the same time. It's adorable. You are twins. Enjoy. I only spilled a little bit. Vote Kyla next year. I'm glad that you remember the for both sides. Hope it that. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm, I'm just annoyed. Take care. Mm. Whoa. No one wanted me. That's right. It's pipe wants you. Yeah. Kylo, if it was like me, I'd let you be Yamin. <sighs> well, you didn't vote for me. <sighs> didn't think you wanted Ooh. to be Yamin. No. <laughs> Let's be honest. Dead honest, nobody's in a human village is gonna want to drown to be the Yama. You know, because of... I mean, I was just going to say it. Well, I wasn't either. But I'm telling you out here now, no video would have voted for you. That being the main reason. It would be nice if someone put me up there. Hmm. 
I think one day well, you'd make a great leader. You have usefulness elsewhere. Now you'll be a great assistant to the yarn man here. No, he doesn't even want well, me to do that me. either. I knew everyone was going to vote for you. <laughs> you'll still be assisting me. Great, so I'm assisting you, but I'm not your assistant. I can read and write and deal with nobility. Assistant to the Yalman, not assistant Yalman, you see. That's why I'm avoiding. Assistant to the Yalman. Yeah, give me another. As you should, not for just the crumb reasons, but because I would also deep. He gives the pipe weed to the drow. Emotions toward her. I'll buy you a drink, Kyla. How does that sound? Got a drink, Mirandel. Take care of him. He's gonna get way out too high. Cheer up. Yeah. I'm kidding. You are the best person. Those quite nice on you. They. Wait, me? Do they? Yes, you see, they're, they're, they're lovely. Stop. Like, twice, at least. <laughs> no, you are the best person for the job. That's why I'm... I voted for you. I appreciate it. I'm kind of shaking a little bit, but um, yeah. I'm I think it'll it end. Yes. Well, I'm well aware. Well, it's really silly, if it is. were to it's pretty decent, make somebody a job. Oh, here's hoping I don't, um, <laughs> muck it up, so to say. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, it was a gift. My, uh, <laughs> anyway, Thank I'm, you, right. I'm gonna go wash off. Sure. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, of course. My, uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Toodles, <laughs> Yowie man. Sorry, I don't really etiquette very well. Yowie man. The fuck? These bastards move my spikes. Fucking pricks. I went all along the fucking assholes. <sighs> Sploosh. Literally just filled this with a room there. With. 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 River water. I don't know why I slurred that so much. Splish, splash, I was having a bad bum bum I want to do this so bad, I roll. It's so hot. So sweaty. Fucking <laughs> four. It's fucking four. Got shit to do. Convene with uh, I did want to observe that with Team Papa, honestly. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get my own order. I don't, hell yeah. I think on our last adventure, the only <laughs> I killed one thief. I think that was it. I'm not coming again. No one voted for me. <laughs> That's like a cat. Right, yes, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of course. No one wanted me. He doesn't even want me as a secretary, a second in charge. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> Kyla, really. No, uh, um, you would have been great. I just think perhaps uh, Arn was right. Someone with the ability to speak to uh, the someone with the the potential to speak to nobles uh, would be a great person. And while the townsfolk love you, I don't know if the nobles would take us kindly to. 
working with a drow, but I don't I don't mean any harm to that. I just well, of course, no, it's fine. we're doing our best to be wise and factual about all this. You know, regardless Unfortunately, of not magic, everyone in this... Like Jack, facts don't care about Unfortunately, not everyone in this world is um, as accustomed to people I know. purple skin as we are. I just, I just. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't have a chance even if of I did want it. But Their nobles freak me out. Well, you had a go Of course. Oh my goodness, what an excuse that is. I, that's not what I meant. I... Tyler, I'm I... sure Gasol will be able to... Uh, have your job with him Honestly. for the part. You only okay? want to lead a place like just, this. She was being weird. Mm, no choice. She's not moving anywhere. She's yeah. Right I know. There. But you, don't you, worry. Hey, has a mind. Old men like Arn do not. He should be careless. Well, if he had you a need choice, a backup to not or something like that, that sort of or even moron. a backup place this to place sleep, let me know. I appreciate it. I'll still be okay. working with Mirandale, yeah. but if I need an extra money, I'll just That was what I was thinking, but always. I wanted to make that offer because it's <laughs> genuinely... Uh, definitely places I, unlikely. I at least consider you a friend. Well, I don't know hmm. how you feel about everything, but I consider you, Sarah, and Kate friends, even if y'all don't, and I want to try to be there for y'all. Did you kiss someone today? Your kindness is going to get you killed. Well, I'm well. sure it will eventually, but until that point, I'm going to try to be good to people who are good to me. You just think. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, be careful, careful. It's wrong. Don't put so much weight on that leg. Uh, I mean. Ow, ow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. I still have some fish uh, anyways, left over that uh, I haven't been able to sell. Anyways, so I'm not do sure be careful with how kind you are, because you do only have one life, and if you say, you, know, you say, it might <laughs> get you killed one day, but until that point, you mean, I mean, it's not like once you're dead, you can just change your ways, you know? Oh, Best I watch know. yourself. Oh, oh, I switched. It's hard to change well. one's way at the true depth of one's core, so it's more likely that. I'll die, then I'll be able to stop actually caring about people. That's what I'm saying. How unfortunate. Yeah. Going to I'm sure it is. <laughs> Going to what? <laughs> okay, you three are showing off way too much on me. Thank you very, very much. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll we'll take do out that. a way smaller <laughs> Okay, you're stupid. Stop bouncing on your feet like that. You need I'm more. Here, yeah. hands you a pipe of weed. Oh. 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 Oh, she ate it. I thought so too. Wouldn't be completely out of character either. I think. Just ate a clump of pipe weed. <laughs> Is that a weed? It was a pipe and pipe weed. Oh. Nice. Okay. The what? Yeah, the the nicer, the larger smart. person in the village gave me an extra pipe. Gives me no candy rolls on his shoulders. I don't like pipes. I mean, you didn't take it back. It's not gonna use it. Your breast pocket. Suppose if I don't use a pipe for it, it's just weird, isn't it? Take a seat, fuck's sake. Do you, ever, do, you ever, do you ever think about that? Do you pipe with the pipe weed is just weed? Do you think about it? I was going to say we could always use a blade like yours. Help. Too much or then. I wonder if you can chew on it. I'll see if we'll be able to survive so this. Mm. No, it's not weed. <laughs> yeah, it's not made of weed. No. Wood. If it weren't for the fact you had to stick it off for my shoulder for you to, huh. you know, use. I'm not touching you, filthy fucking fisherman. <laughs> okay. Is that the weed you do? Uh, anyway, I mean, I expect that at this point. The bush removes my filter and went, oh, what little one I have left. Alright, well. Oh, you did get I will be retiring now. Good night, everyone. Sad. It's way too hot here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what it well, is. Have Tyler, it's right now as you can. I'm going to. Yep. I suppose I'll head back to my cabin as well. You know, to be entirely honest, I'm just glad that nothing crazy bad has been happening tonight. I think the greatest event was that. Hey. Don't, 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 don
Did you have a good day? Uh, I cool. so you better go knock on some wood right now. Okay. It, I didn't know if you were <sighs> in stone <sighs> rather than wood. And if I don't At least we're coming. No. I'll go after your leg, okay? That's <sighs> grumpily. Is that like punching rocks, Sarah? Do you those even yes. exist? <laughs> huh? Only in fairy tales, I hope. What was that? Was he just created that medicine for them? Lord Godfrey is a reasonable man from what I've seen. Uh, harsh, but reasonable. Or at the very least, he truly seems to care for the people here. I'm sure that you will be able to get some sort of middle ground. I'll uh, keep the fire going. People to the ground quite hard, but I suppose right, I had his reason for that too. Are you gonna be long? A demonstration. Okay, come on. I might be asleep when you get there, so enjoy your night. Seemed a little bit. in bed. Hmm. Wait, does that... Oh. Man carving. <laughs> <laughs>